How many times were you told you were supposed to fix it? How many times were you told you're supposed to change it about yourself? You're supposed to like alter it? Right, okay. Now look, I'm not preaching it, but I just want to point something out. Before you can change or fix anything about yourself, the most important thing that you got to do is you got to understand it, right? I'm going to let this plane pass through. It's being nature. Right? Got life around us. It's cool. It is what it is. It's out the way. All right, it's a helicopter. All right, look. Before you can change or fix anything about yourself, you've got to understand what you're messing with, right? Look, there's, um, there are traits about yourself that potentially have ruined relationships, that have potentially gotten in the way of you completing and doing things, maybe your anxiety, maybe jealousy, stuff like that. There are traits, maybe, maybe you have a bad temper, stuff, okay? Here's the thing, before you get so quick to say, look, I'm gonna fix it, you've got to understand it. And what do I mean by that? What do I mean by under, what do, what do you mean, Bo? Like, what do you mean understand? I know what's going on. No, 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 no. When I mean understand, I mean genuinely get to the root of it. You know, get to like the idea. Get to like the lower levels of what that trait, where does it stem from? Where does it originate from? What's the idea behind it, right? Get to that level. Really understand what's what you're messing with before you start getting all of a sudden like, hey, we gotta fix it, we gotta change all this up, so we got an alter, and then boom, life goes the way it right. Life life goes the way it goes, right? No, man. Before you can fix anything, before you can repair anything, right? You don't just know that, you know, like let's say you got an engine and then you know your piston, you know your pistons are messed up, right? You know the the engine where like. It's like a lid and then where it blows up, pop. Let's say this part, you know that it's busted. Okay, so you don't just grab a wrench and then just start screwing away. Like you don't, you don't even know what you're messing with, right? You gotta understand it, understand it. Take time to be with it a little more than you normally like to be, right? Take a little time to understand. You know, I have a, um, I'll link an emotional method below called How to Heal the Emotional Body where it teaches you to actually sit with those emotions or those traits within yourself, right? To reflect on that shadow side, right? Those traits that you consider detrimental or harmful to whoever you are and what you do. Take time to understand it because once you understand it, then you actually have a better understanding of what to do with it, right? Don't get so quick on, hey, look, gotta fix it, gotta change all of this up when you don't even understand what you're trying to change at all. Here's the thing, sometimes it's not even about changing it. Because if you can't, like, because a lot of the times what you'll do is you'll change it out of fear, right? You'll change it out of fear that the relationship goes bad again. You'll change it out of fear that you won't be able to do the thing again. You'll change it out of fear that your boss is gonna fire you if you don't do it the way you're supposed to do it. Let it go, all right? First off, don't change it out of fear. Change it out of a genuine understanding of it right this doesn't serve me i need to change it but before you get out of that get before you even get to that step get out of fear right get out of the fear of ooh, right get out of that come to an understanding with what it is you have to confront you have to talk to communicate whatever you got to do with the business on that okay understand it and then change change it if it still needs to be changed look before like let's let's take this for example. Let's say every time I'm in a um, I'm in an environment, and let's say there's a, there's a class, and there's like these three big guys, right? And for some reason, any guy that's like 200 pounds, six foot, I like start I, I just get nervous. I, I all of a sudden get like red faces and stuff like that, you know, and I just start getting nervous. Why? You know, that's that could be that could pertain to a lot of psycho. Um, that could pertain to a lot of stuff pertaining to the mind and the past trauma and childhood we don't know but before you all of a sudden say i have to change this about myself understand why you're even feeling that way at all understand where it stems from understand its roots understand the balance of it and understand what's going on and then once you've kind of, once you've learned to embrace it and accept it as that's right now that is you then you can take a step to say all right now we can change some things now we can kind of alter the perception and mess around with it, right? Before you suddenly just jump on and say, hey, we better change this and mix it up, woo! No, 
understand it first. If you can't even embrace and accept the trait that you have, then you're changing it out of fear. So in order to avoid changing it out of fear, understand and embrace it. And then if you genuinely feel like there does need to be a change, then by all means, go ahead and take the steps necessary to the change. But first start to understand it because you might not even need a change after. You just might have needed to understand and accept the trait to begin with. And that was all you really needed, right? Understanding and accepting your traits goes a long way. So take the necessary step to be with it, relate, understand, embrace, accept it, and then you can go fix it. Talk to you next time.